Hi, this is Frank Rich from Watergraphs.com. I'm here in Burnley, England at the Star Wars Fan Fun Day, and now I'm here with J John Coppinger. John, thank you for your time. And how bad did I just pronounce your last name? Sorry, say again? Did, and how bad did I butcher your last name? Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> John, can you tell us, uh, looking back at your time with the film, can you tell us what, what, what you recall um, First early on with the jab of the hut and you know, the, the processes and what you can tell us about that. Well, I suppose the main thing was that it was such a weird character. We we couldn't really get our heads around the name or the character. Um, we had a little plaster maquette from ILM that Phil Tippett had made, and that had been approved by George Lucas. It was just a little tiny plaster, so it gave us a guide. Um, I think the first thing we did was have an argument with our boss, um, Stuart Freeborn, because <laughs> he wanted to put big round eyes in it. And there was something about the quality of the face that the little maquette had, with the oval eyes. So that was the first sort of discussion about what it should be, how it should look. So anyway, we resolved that, sculpted it in clay, and then you know the six of us made it, it wasn't just me. Yep. And um, three performers inside it, so there was something like eight people operating that beast on set. Watergraphs uh, did a, a piece where they had a uh, oh, yes. signature with all of you with who were as involved. As many as they could find, yes, that's yeah, right. That, that was, that was, that was great, biggest, a great job that Gary did with that. That's right. That's um, the biggest group that's been assembled. People that's, from Java. Yeah. That's, that is, that's so great. Um, <laughs> And you ended up you're working with, um, in Phantom Menace. How did you? How did that trans the for the the Wookiee characters in the? Uh oh, in Phantom Menace. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was kind of weird because you come back 15 years later. How was? How was? How was? Well, did they ask? Did they seek you out to come no, back? No, not at all. No, because it was by then. Um, Nick Dudman, who I'd worked with on uh, Jedi, was doing uh, Bid Fortuna for Stuart Feeble. He was kind of starting out. By the time it came around to Phantom Menace, he's a crew boss, so he's assembling a crew to do Phantom Menace. So uh, he asked me to work for him again. We've done uh, Fifth Element in a couple of films, oh. and it, it moved Jack, on from yeah. that. Yeah. Great. And uh, things up for your uh, the autograph circuit here. How, hmm. how did you get involved with with uh, signing autographs? Signing. Uh, there was a chap called Paul Marley. He used to. Um, I think he's still around. He used to run autograph and, and convention signings in somewhere around Essex, Basildon area. And I, I just wandered along to see Tim Rose one day in a sports hall, I think in Basildon in Essex. Somebody said, you worked on Jabba the Hutt, and I was put in a seat and made to sign things. And then people started making me take money for it, so I kind of got onto it from that. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, what is life like these days? What is there anything you're, you're working on or anything that you have going on? No, I'm almost retired out. I'm, uh, I'm drawing and writing. You know, so I'm writing stuff. Um, okay. We still occasionally do stuff for the Royal Institution, Christmas lectures. Yep. I don't know if you know that. Um, British TV. Okay. Um, it's putting a scientist in front of an audience of children and getting them interested in a science subject. Oh. So it's our personal interest is um, science and art, if you like. So yeah, it's a nice mix of that. So occasionally we do props for TV shows. Oh, that's so that's fantastic. Bit, yeah. But John, thank you very much for your time today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day here at yep. the Fan Fun Day. Good. Thank you. Cheers, Frank. <laughs>